Okay, welcome back to Decrypted Tech. Today in the lab, uh, we're finishing up our performance, the performance half of our review of ASUS's Z97-I motherboard. As you can see here, we're taking a look at the AI Suite 3. And what you can see here are the results of our overclocking tests. Um, the AI Suite 3, we've talked about this before, it is a redesigned interface, so it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier for you to understand and take a look at um, and sort of get an overview of everything that you have. Right now, you can see our CPU phase control is, uh, you know, under optimized, so you have your different options. You have optimized extreme manual adjustments, uh, CPU VRM switching frequency we have set to auto, although we can change it to uh, manual and set it up ourselves. CPU power duty control is at uh, T probe, which is fine. The load line calibration, we just have it at level one right here. This is sort of a quick overclock just to really see what we can get out of it. You see we have a 4.8 gigahertz overclock. It's gonna bounce as it fluctuates just a little bit. A voltage, uh, interestingly enough, shows 1.76. We're actually at 1.34, um, so not too much voltage in order to get it stable. 39C is our current temperature, and of course, you know, fan speed, that's for our uh, water cooling system. We do use a Cooler, uh, cooler Master Iceberg uh, 240 to help us uh, get the most out of these overclocks. Now, a lot of these overclocks, we're not looking for uh, the fastest CPU performance we can get. We're looking for sort of uh, stability across multiple applications. You've seen our testing suite. So, of course, you understand uh, exactly what we're talking about here. The, the more stability we can get out of the board across the board for all of our tests, the better off we are. Of course, you can click here and see what's going on with the DRAM. Uh, right now, we just have it at 1600 megahertz. We, d we were able to get it up to 2133. But uh, again, we want to keep this uh, sort of what the default uh, memory settings are for the CPU, not get too much into what will happen when you get your, uh, you know, the different memory going. All right, so now we'll go back here. As you can see, it's very quick. You can bounce through a multiple uh, selections. Digi plus power control um, gets us back here. Of course, turbo EVO. That's going to pull up and show you a little bit more of what's going on here. Your ratio, your B clock frequency, CPU uh, cache ratio. One core, you can group tune your CPU voltage, uh, core voltage, the cache voltage, which we have set to adaptive. And of course, then your basic information down here at the bottom. You can actually change this. So the settings, so you can actually move some of this around or you can go back to where your display is. It's kind of a nice uh, layout for this. You also have your GPU boost under here. This is where you can tune the GPU frequency and speed. You can overclock the GPU on the, the CPU. Uh, CPU strap, this is going to be what, what your base clock frequency is when you boot up. Uh, sometimes increasing this can actually allow you to get past some boot issues that happen uh, during post. Uh, we have it just set to 100 megahertz here and of course you have your auto tuning. You can do ratio only, B clock first and it's going to go through and it will, it will push you through a series of tests to determine stability and get you what it feels. Uh, according to ASUS, I believe they say it's about 80 80 to 85 percent of what the maximum you can get out of the CPU is. So that's really kind of a good ratio. So if you just want to get a quick boost, see what your CPU can do, uh, make sure you have good cooling, of course, you can go ahead and run through this. Going back, you have your USB 3.0 boost. This is something that ASUS has had for a while. You can set it up to turbo, normal, uh, set a uh, selected device. We do have a, one of the uh, uh, data travelers in here, the USB 3.0. It's 128 uh, gigs. Sorry about that. And we can set this up and allow it to do a boost. We can set it up to turbo. That's going to give us an increase in performance, but USB 3.0, uh, the increase in performance is about 20 to 25% from what we've seen. It's a nice little kick if you're gonna run a bunch of USB 3.0 devices. System information is gonna give you basic information. Of course, you can see Z97i Plus, revision, uh, X.0, motherboard serial number, BIOS version, we're using 0408. Uh, that was the latest when we started our performance review. Of course, you have your CPU here. It's going to show you exactly what the CPU is, the family, stepping, the whole works. Got a lot of information. And of course, your SPD shows you what kind of memory we have in here. This is the Kingston 10th anniversary, the HyperX 10th anniversary memory. Uh, can go all the way up to 2133, which is very nice. Back, back out. Of course, you have your USB charger. It does pretty much what it says. Push notice. Um, this is actually going to set up select functions that you want to be alerted on. So if you have a rest, uh, restart, when do you want to restart, what's the alert message, shut down, sleep, blah, 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 all this other stuff. You can set it up for voltage, uh, fan, send an alert message when the PC is, back to no or PC is back to normal, and then of course the different messages. Right now we have it turned off, so all of these are, are, are grayed out. But you can turn this on or off up here. 
We'll back back out. EPU. EPU is going to be disabled when you are uh, overclocking. So, of course, we're not going to have that running right now, but you can see everything, all the different options that you have. Performance, power savings, away mode. And these are global settings. Uh, configured max CPU power, all of that. It's kind of a nice uh, functions. And we'll go to Fan Expert. We've talked about this one before. Fan Expert will allow you to do fan tuning. Of course, you have to run the fan tuning first. It's going to go and check and see what fan headers do you have plugged in. It'll determine what kind of fans are there, uh, the maximum, minimum, maximum speeds, and go ahead and set that up so you can use these different options, uh, quiet, standard, turbo, and of course, full speed. Right now, we don't have anything set up. The only thing we have is we have the CPU set to run maximum. Again, that's because our pump is running off of that fan header. You don't want your pump to speed up and slow down. It can cause uh, the pump to have issues later on. Easy update, pretty much what it says. Click here. And it's going to show you what updates are available. You can check for them. This will also update different features in the application. If there's an update for uh, AI Suite 3, it'll show that. USB BIOS flashback. Uh, this is something that ASUS has talked about. You can actually flash the BIOS on this board without needing to. Uh, this utility allows you to check and save the latest BIOS versions of USB storage device with the USB BIOS flashback hardware feature can be conveniently updated without booting or even powering up the system. So it's kind of a nice feature that allows you to keep copies of your BIOS and also update the BIOS. Wi-Fi engine. This lets you set your Wi-Fi on here and of course this has 802.11 AC so that you're either running in client mode or you can run it as, a, uh, as an access point. So you can set this up to where other people can connect to this and go through your Intel LAN and then uh, use this like a wireless access point. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And of course the version, this is just going to show you which versions of each of the utilities you have. That's this in a nutshell. Uh, it's a nice new suite, uh, nice cleaner design compared to some of what uh, uh, ASUS has done in the past as far as with this particular suite. And it's one that uh, we definitely use, uh, not necessarily when we're running through the performance, but we use it after the fact in order to take a look at the different systems and see sort of where we are. All right, so that covers everything for the, uh, the ASUS AI Suite 3. And uh, as always, if you like this video, be sure to click on the like button. Make sure you share this with your friends and be sure to subscribe to us so you can stay up to date with the latest news and reviews we have for you. Thank you.